What up, YouTube? Here with a post-fight review video for the Jose Ramirez, Jose Pedraza fight. I know I'm a little late on this. This fight happened a few weeks ago. You already know the results of this fight. Ramirez won via unanimous decision. Uh, I personally had the fight score 117 to 112 in favor of Ramirez. Ramirez won the fight via uh, volume and... Just sheer hustle is how Ramirez got himself to win in this fight. Pedraza was in the fight. It was a competitive contest. Um, Pedraza had his best moments in the middle of the ring. Um, his movement and his fast and sharper punches uh, was uh, his, uh, his key moments and his highlights in this fight. I'm talking about Pedraza. Um, and for Ramirez, who threw more punches and um, outworked Pedraza to earned himself to win in this fight, um, he would have to cut off the ring by swarming Pedraza and stopping his movement by forcing him towards the ropes and corner and going to work when he has him trapped over there. And Ramirez, um, I was impressed with his uh, body punching and his, uh, and his volume. And as far as Pedraza goes, um, his jab and his uh, lead hook, his left hook, he would switch stance in this fight um, a few times to make adjustments to uh, had a momentum in his favor. Um, but the lead hook and the jab, uh, especially in the center of the ring, was um, uh, Pedraza's uh, key highlights uh, in this fight. Now, um, Jose Ramirez, who is a former 140-pound champion, I know he wants to gain his titles back. Um, and before this fight, there was Josh Taylor, who defended his undisputed 140-pound titles in his uh, comeback home fight against Jack Catterall, which he won the fight via a questionable decision. And I know Bob Arum, who promotes both uh, Ramirez and Taylor, uh, is interested and has been talking about making the rematch between Ramirez and Taylor. Um, mind you, Ramirez, former undefeated champion, I know he wants to avenge that only L and gain his titles back, like I said, um, so I know that's the fight he's aiming for, now this was a, uh, hard fought earned victory for Ramirez, now, um, Taylor, who's coming off of a questionable win, and Ramirez, who's coming off of a competitive, uh, hard fought, uh, win, uh, in both of their last fights, um, it should be interesting. Their last fight, their first fight, was uh, uh, entertaining for sure. Um, the second fight, I wouldn't mind seeing at all. I know that's the fight Ramirez wants to see. Uh, and, and as far as Josh Taylor goes, I know boxing fans, including myself, wants to see uh, Taylor give Catterall that rematch because you know, y'all could go on here and check out my post-fight video for the Taylor Catterall fight. I, I had to fight score for Catterall, so I think Catterall should be ahead of Ramirez uh, for the rematch when it comes to the 140-pound titles. But, you know, there was no rematch clause uh, for Catterall, um, so I don't think that fight's happening anytime soon. Um, and plus, Taylor's not interested in having a rematch with Catterall, but he is, um, however... Um, interested along with his promoter interested in giving Ramirez that rematch for his title so we'll just see what happens in the future uh y'all let me know what y'all want to see for Jose Ramirez and as far as uh what y'all want to see for Jose Pedraza y'all let me know in the comments or if y'all got a video talking about uh this fight and the 140 pound division if you got a boxing channel at all that you know you want me to check out I'll be glad to do that. Um, and as far as Pedraza goes, you know, 140 pounds, man, they got, you know, enough uh, talent in that division for Pedraza to uh, get in the mix with. Um, anyways, with that being said, that does it for uh, this uh, post-fight review video for Jose Ramirez and Jose Pedraza. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and I'm out, y'all. Peace.